Before you begin, be sure to note whether the patient is sitting, standing, or laying down during the pressure reading. The standard position is with the patient sitting, with the patient's arm relaxed. However, this position is not always practical in an emergency situation. First, choose the correct sized cuff for the patient's arm. Put the cuff around the upper arm with the cuff mark at the medial side of the biceps brachii, about an inch above the anterior elbow. Next, with your first two fingers, feel or palpate for a pulse on the radial artery. The radial pulse is found on the thumb side of the forearm at the wrist. Now, squeeze the bulb to inflate the cuff until the pulse can no longer be felt. The pressure in the cuff matches the pressure needed to close the vessel and to stop the flow of blood. Keep inflating for about 30 millimeters of mercury above the point where no pulse is felt. Place the stethoscope just under the distal part of the cuff over the brachial artery. Slowly release the pressure at about 2 millimeters per second. As the pressure in the cuff drops, blood begins to pulse through the vessel. When you hear two consecutive beats, record this pressure reading as the systolic pressure. Keep releasing the pressure slowly until you can no longer hear the sounds in the stethoscope. The cuff pressure reading at the time when the sound disappears from the stethoscope is called the diastolic pressure. This represents the pressure exerted on the walls of the arteries when the heart is at rest. Open the valve to deflate the cuff completely, but leave the cuff in place to save time for sequential readings. Record your information as soon as possible to avoid forgetting it. Be sure to repeat the readings over time to check for changes in blood pressure as the patient progresses. The inflated cuff compresses the tissues and vessels to stop the arterial pulse. As the air is released from the cuff, the blood vessel opens just enough to allow the high pressure blood to pass through the vessel. As this blood passes, the partially compressed cuff creates turbulent blood flow. This turbulence can be heard by placing a stethoscope under the distal end of the cuff. At this pressure, we are reading the systolic pressure. As you slowly deflate the cuff, there is less compression of the vessels and the blood flow becomes less turbulent, so the sound is no longer heard. The diastolic pressure represents the pressure exerted on the walls of the arteries when the heart is at rest. Remember to fully deflate the cuff when finished. 